Mai, it's Cara, and today is Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is a tag series created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. And me being late, today I am talking about last week's topic, which I screwed up and royally got it all messed up around. But last week's topic, which is feature classics. So let's get started. The first book on this list is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is a book that for me reads like a classic. It's a retelling, um, reimagining, I guess, of um, the Iliad uh, by Homer. And it's still set in the ancient times and everything, just with a different spin and a focus and a narrative style of storytelling. Um, and it follows Achilles and Patroclus, his lover, and it's great. Um, I loved this book, but it definitely reads like a classic. It reads like it could be timeless. And that's why I think it will be one that will stick around for a long time. Next, we have The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. I'm counting this here because for some reason for me, um, magical realism books read to me like they're already classics. So I heard this is an arc. It's an arc. Um, but still it read beautifully like it had been around forever. Um, this is a family saga, magical realism, it's amazing. Everyone's read it by now I think, but it's totally worth it if you haven't, so yes. Then we have The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is a huge beast and a huge beast of a trilogy. We're all waiting desperately on book three. Um, this is a high fantasy epic saga. And again, it just reads timelessly. It's so good. Um, and I would totally be content if Patrick Rothfuss finished the third book and never wrote another book again. Like it's that kind of complete life work style saga that's just gonna stand the test of time. Then we have The Diviners by Libra Bray. This is a YA paranormal set in uh, 20s New York. And it's just so good. This has amazing representation, a great cast of characters, and a really good supernatural villain element. And I just love this series. There's currently three books out. I don't know if there's a solid number that it's gonna come to, but um, I totally recommend this series. And it's just so good that it better stick around for a long time, because it's amazing. Finally, a book that's probably on everyone's list, and that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I still really need to reread this because I haven't ever because it scared me the idea of going back into it. This is a beautifully lyric fantasy by um, them that follows um, our two main characters. Um, what are their names? This is how long it's been. Celia and Marco and they're in this magician competition. I would love to see a sequel to this following some of the other competitions that had happened in the past. I think that would be heartbreaking and amazing. Um, and it's just beautiful. I know some for some people the narrative style just doesn't gel, but you'll either love this or you'll be bored. And I loved this. So those are my top five future classics. Comment down below and link me to your videos, seeing as they all should come out last week. I'm just behind on the times. Um, Otherwise, actually, this does work well for me because I don't want to do the third week, the final week of the month's topic. I don't have anything I can think of to go there. That's road trip books. I don't read road trip books, really. So I'm skipping that one. So it's actually all right that I'm a week behind. I'll stay a week behind for the month and then come back in in August with a fresh start. So look out for that. Comment down below your future classics and otherwise I will see you next week with another video. Bye.